thought today we would show you our brand new 2022 390 cent of THR Momentum. Today we're just going to show the inside um, for our friends and our Momentum group on Facebook. Um, our rig was ordered April 1st and we took delivery on August 21st. During the production, there was a few changes to our 2022. The fireplace, background, um, there, there was the bathroom sink, there was minor changes. But once we took delivery, they did do their 2022 mid-year changes. And those were some major changes which we'll discuss inside. All right, come on, follow me. We do have our awning screen um, on each of our slides. We also opted the option for the backboard awning, which we purchased some side screens that you can put up to block the sun. So we have those in case we need them. We also added rails for safety purposes. Of course, you know, I'm old and have vertigo, so but we definitely needed this. Um, and this is a blessing. This is well worth it. We did mine them on the outside, and Kevin had to drill new holes in order to do so. We have the ring security system throughout our whole unit, motion detector and cameras on every door. We also added the handrail on the screen which you can get at Camping World. Okay, so I guess I turned on all the lights so that you get a good idea, even though it's daylight. They do have a window in the door now. They, they put a window in the door, which, you know, we have a blackout blind uh, that we put added to it, a mini blind, but I mean, for privacy reasons, we could take it or leave the window. I did get, everybody says, where are we gonna put our shoes? You know, you walk in and where are you gonna put them? You really don't have a place. So I found these on Amazon. They're 3M, they stick, and you can put your shoes right here. They're out of the way, you just slide them in and voila. I got some pitchers. I use command strip pitcher holders. Fantastic. Just follow the directions. These are not taken off during travel and they do not come off. The one control is now on this wall versus your cabinet. And then this is our ring system here that we have. You have a hall window. Lots of windows in this unit. It's bright, it's cheery, cheerful. You don't feel like you're in a cave. Um, we keep this down though, you know, most of the time. Um, but they are blackout shades. And we will start in the bedroom. Let me take off my shoes. We don't wear our shoes in the unit. This saves on a lot of maintenance. All right, so we'll start with the bedroom. So you do have, these are glass. This is glass panels. Now on the brand new 2022s, after we took delivery, one of the major changes, well actually there's three in the bedroom. One of the major changes is they extended this slide a foot so that you will have more room at the end of your bed. We don't find this a problem, um, that we have plenty of room. Uh, so we're happy with this. But what they did is they made two separate closets in the new, brand new 2022s. Ours is 2022, but this is the mid-year changes. They put two separate closets here which you'll have to Google that and look it up. 
and this is the washer and dryer unit that we have. And that's where ours is. It's a Splendid. We love it. And it vents out the side. With these new units, they moved this. This is no longer here. And they've got two closets and they put the washer and dryer in the middle. I don't know where they vent it, but um, we prefer this. We're glad we got this right before that change. All right, so you have lights, bed lights, um, that you can turn on in each side. That also has a switch. A window above the bed, which we keep this closed, but it's, look how bright it makes your, your room if you're, you like it bright. These clothes, these are windows also, and they go all the way up. We replaced the mattress with a nice queen mattress. We love this mattress. The mattresses that come with the RV do not cut it. Um, so we spent some good money. It'd be well worth it. And we got a regular king size. Um, instead of going 72 wide, we went 70. 80 um, and that gave us room here but this is a king size and it is about 10 inches about 10 inches thick so we love our bed this is our master closet and we prefer this much better than what they have now this is like a walk-in this is our traveling lock it has a traveling lock for when you're traveling and as you can see, it's quite big. We do, they do have a light, we have a light. Um, these you can use for shoe cubbies, but we're gonna use these for our clothes. And I'll show you why in a minute, because the dresser is not very deep. So we're gonna pile our clothes all in here, and I bought a shoe rack which will fasten down with the straps that they put the table legs in. During travel, this won't move. So I love this idea. I can still get to my clothes, and I have all this for my clothes. I also put a little cubby in here, a little plastic three-door Sterilite, which comes so much handy because I don't have to lift my bed to get miscellaneous tools or hooks or... So I have all my command hooks in here, um, picture strips, straps, and it's so convenient to get to. They did extend the top shelf in this around. So you have shelves, shelf space here, you know, put hats or, you know, whatever you'd like up here. I did invest in the velvet hangers. So the clothes don't come off the hangers while traveling. And, of course, the laundry basket's right here. And you just whoop, throw your clothes in there and you're done. But, it, as you can see, there's a whole lot of space in here. Versus the, the brand new change that they made, where the two closets are just separated and the washer and dryer is in the middle. So, I'm ecstatic that we got this before they made that change. And then, of course, I've already showed you the washer and dryer closet. You have a main light switch here as well. Now, you do have to kind of slide through here. However, this, in the new 2022, one of the major changes is the bathroom. And they don't, they took this out and they put a Jack and Jill door. So this is actually a door that goes into the bathroom, which we're so glad we don't have that. Some people prefer it, we don't. So we have closet space up here as well, and Kevin made me a shelf. He actually took the shelves that were in that closet before they put the washer and dryer in, and he made me a shelf up here because this was one empty space so now I've got sections I keep my purse here and I have this is my uh, miscellaneous towels for spills and whatever rags 
And then I, this is my linen, extra sheets, my tablecloths for my tables. And then here uh, I put all the bed pillows. It works out very well because uh, you go to get in bed at night, everybody's wondering where are you going to put your pillows because you only have limited space to walk on the floor if you have to get up in the middle of the night. So this fits in here perfect. These pillows fit all in here and the big pillows we throw in the closet. So that's just a helpful hint. Uh, we have our alarm clock over here. You have a USB plug here and you also have a USB plug over there on that side of the closet. You also have a two outlet plug here for your alarm clock or whatever have you. And there's shelves down here too as well. And we keep our flashlights. If the electric goes out in the middle of the night, we can just grab a flashlight down there and our lantern. And we still have a little room. Now, this is the original TV that came with it. It's big enough for us. Um, so we, we just kept it here. It is Roco and you know, the TV's good, pretty good. And then of course, you know, you have your shade here if you'd like to shut that down. I made this um, and my Cali cat. Unfortunately, he's no longer with me. I had him 17 years, so he traveled in our other trailer. Here's the dresser drawers. As you can see, they're not, they're not very deep. So that is why we're using the shelf in the closet for our clothes. As you can see, see? It's not very deep. So don't plan on putting a bunch of clothes in here. Um, this is my jewelry box I found. So I'm keeping my jewelry in here. And then, of course, you know, underwear and socks I'll use in these drawers and the rest of my clothes in the closet. I found this rug. This is a sheepskin rug. I thought it add a little, little color and a little bling to the room. Um, there, I put these 3M hooks up here for wet towels in the bathroom for them to dry there's no really place to hang wet towels in, in the bathroom. So my, my idea was this, because those ones that hook over the door will not fit. They will not close in the top of your door. So these are 3M hooks and they're not going anywhere. So, and I can actually hang on this level and this level. So, and they're out of the way. People don't see them and it doesn't, they'll dry because there's a space between here. There's a ledge down here, so your towels will dry there. And I got a little vase to go there just to, for decoration. All right, on to the bathroom. This is our bathroom, it's pretty big. Um, it, I love the idea that you have counter space here for your blow dryer, your curling iron. Most trailers or RVs don't are limited, so I do have room for that. Two plugs, GFCI. Your fan, we have the uh, vent fans up here on the ceiling, which gives light to the bathroom, um, and it helps. We put the tile up. It's peel and stick, 3M. It really looks good. It was just wallpaper back here. And we went ahead and added that. And of course, I just, you know, decorated a little bit. Your medicine cabinet is pretty good size. Um, I bought these little storage baskets. Um, you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, so I, I like that. Shower's pretty big. It is deep. It does go down. If you notice, uh, most don't, this, do, this does, and it's solid. It doesn't pop, it's solid um, on your feet. And of course you have a seat if you wanna shave your legs or you know, you wanna sit down. That just pulls down, it's teak. And they have a little design, wavy design on the wall, which is nice. Beautiful skylight, 
You don't have to worry about being tall. You have plenty of room here. This is new. This is a cool shower. It's your waterfall shower, your, your hand shower. Um, also, it sprays body wise. I added, um, these were here. I added the soap dish here, 3M. Stays per solid because I don't want my soap in with my shampoo and my stuff. These are glass doors, and during travel, they do hitch and latch. And I love them. Just squeezing them and away you go. I found this towel rack on Amazon. It saved me space, so I don't have to put my towels in this big deep closet. It goes way back. It does go back quite far. Um, so I didn't want to use this for my towels. So I ended up finding this towel rack. It's actually two pieces that you put together. Um, and put my towels here. And then I had this. Um, I had this for a long time. And it just so happened to fit here. So I just put all my towels on this. Um, and then of course in here. Like I said, this goes way back, and I put a little metal shelf in here, so I have dual usage, my makeup mirror, medicine, and there's still room. And then I got these little pictures here um, from Etsy. A, a girl from Etsy made them. And I replaced the glass with plexiglass. So during tra And I don't have to take these down. I don't have to take these down. They're, again, the command picture hooks, which... They don't move. So I took no glass. And of course I put the towel rack. I did the towel rack. This does not come with the unit. Either does my fixtures. It was a set. I did get these rugs. They are matching in the kitchen. I wanted to kind of separate the kitchen from the living room because you, you don't have much of a living room. So I have two matching rugs here. And I think I got these at Walmart actually, believe it or not. Um, kitchen is huge. I love this kitchen. I have more than enough space. Uh, we'll start over here. So this is glass and these are wood, real wood. Here is controller, so this, this cabinet is your stereo and control, so the, that's not usable. This is actually the back of the cabinet in the bathroom, so. But as you can see, I have all this space. So, I don't have any problem. Now, one neat thing that I've done is I found these on Amazon. These are all my plates. So these are so handy. Okay, they just unzip and here's my balls and I just put little felt dividers between them. Okay. So I can travel with these. I don't have to pack them up. Look. Okay. I don't have to pack them up. They can travel and not break and I this is your best investment gorilla shelf liner I got black and I did all my shelves my drawers and my pantry nothing slides on this stuff the gorilla uh, shelf liner Amazon all right now here's one question I had before we got this unit was is there any plugs for this area for your coffee maker? Yes, there is. There is two outlets here and two outlets here. So yes, there's plugs on this counter. You also have a light, which I'm going to turn on now.
and it lights up and it's so pr it's so pretty at night I, I really love this light um, you have lights on the ceiling you have lights above your counter and again that's all on your one control but it's wonderful lighting in here you have lighting uh, on your chandeliers You also have plenty of drawer space. So I've got all my linens, of course, in here, and my cutting, and this is, of course, the junk drawer. Tape, scissors, whatever we need to grab, batteries. This, so you have plenty, you have drawers over here. This is also equipment with the RV. We keep our manuals here for everything, all the kitchen appliances fuses here and then this is all pots and pans another helpful hint is I did buy the over-the-counter paper towel holder and it will not fit on this cabinet door because it will not close so I put it over here to get the paper towels off the counter it's just more counter space that you have so I keep all my pots and pans down here separated with the pedals, of course, and, and, and on the Gorilla get Grip, so they're not going anywhere. Um, my lids are in a plastic bin, and it's not going anywhere, and I wrap them in this sleeves, these sleeves, they just come out, and voila, keep it there. So I don't have to pack or unpack dishes or anything. Mixing bowls, Pryrex, the same way. Nothing has to be specially wrapped. I put all my grilling items up here. That's my smoker box for my grill, my Weber cans. I've got a griddle tools accessories. I have a large electric griddle for inside the house. So this is a pretty good cabinet. So use it wisely, but I keep all my grilling stuff there. I found the little silver flowers and I just pull them down when we travel. We do have the residential refrigerator. Love it. We bought, which you'll see on our next video, uh, for the outside of the camper. Kevin is going to do the outside. And you will see that we bought the three filter full house, full RV water treatment filter. So our ice, this has an ice maker. right here which is we have it off right now um, but this is the ice maker here and this is just like a residential freezer look at all the room you have in this there's definitely no problem full timing in this so it does have an ice maker the refrigerator is huge now I bought these expandable rods they just pop in here and what this does is I have more of them in the pantry. It will hold your stuff while traveling so it doesn't go forward. Um, I have a water. I found this to put your bottled water in and lay it down so they don't fall over. And of course this is for soda cans or beer or whatever. Uh, but you see you have plenty of room in here. But these rods actually I put them here and they keep everything from sliding forward. We can run this while traveling. It runs on our inverter. We've got Battleborn batteries and an inverter, which Kevin will get into uh, when we do the outside of the uh, unit. But we run, we can run this consistently, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. Our food while traveling. We also have a residential oven close to it. This is not your typical um, travel. It, it is a Thea Cigna. It is gas. And it is quite big, as you can see. You can actually cook a turkey in here. I can't wait. I can actually cook Thanksgiving dinner uh, inside. Cookies, you don't have to worry about it fitting in here. Um, I just keep this in here because it's big and I use it for meats. And, and then you have a little drawer here as well. 
And you don't really want to put plastic in here, the manual says, so please read that. But I keep my little, you know, heat burner things and my grease cover in here, and that's about it. But there is a little container there. I made this. It was hard to find a nice 24 by 24 cover for this because I can use this for extra counter space along with this when I'm making things. So I made this, I stained it, it's teak, and I added the handles and it just lifts off and it does have protection underneath, silicone protection so that it doesn't scratch up the burners. And while we're traveling, I can just bring it right over here and it slides right here. For travel. When I need it for counter space, I can put it back. But when I'm getting ready to cook, I just take it off and I'm only a few steps. So it is a four burner gas. Um, it does have lighted knobs, little decoration, little accent lights. It's kind of sharp. Has an oven light. We added the tile. We just did this. We did it all the way up and on both sides over here. We are getting this piece Monday, so we've got to finish this job. You have a nice window. You have a nice window above your stove. It, it adds, it, it gives you more light and if you want to shut it at night, you can. There is a plug over here. There is an outlet over here, folks. Um, so you can plug your can opener, which I'm gonna put here. Um, and you don't really have a whole bunch of room here because you do have this full oven. That's why I made the wood piece for extra counter space. This is an Insigna microwave and convection oven. So it's both. We got both with this. Um, so you can do dual cooking in this or just use it as a microwave or use it as a convection oven. I've not used convection yet, so this is gonna be a new experience for me. Um, but I heard it's fantastic. It cooks things faster. So I'm real happy with this. We thought we were just getting a microwave, but as you can see, it's microwave, convection, or you can do dual cooking combination at the same time. I have another cabinet here and I keep my bacon pan, meat pans um, that I'm gonna barbecue or take outside or all that up here. Um, so that's, that's pretty big too. There is a cord up there, but I get, I have enough space to, that's what I need it for. Then you have your nice window here. This adds to the room. It just makes it look so big. And of course you can put the shade down. It does have a shade. So you can put the shade down. If you, you know, if you don't want your neighbors. Now during the day, you can't see in these windows. But at night, of course you can. Um, so we, we usually keep it down. And then of course I made this. I found the vase and I, spray painted it to match the kitchen and uh, threw some cherry blossoms in there and there we go. We keep our clock up there and then of course we have more security up there. So this is a huge pantry guys um, and of course I have the rods in here too. Amazon um, and this stops everything you know this is glass stops everything from uh, coming forward. This is where I keep all my bread uh, in one area and then of course my paper plates and uh, paper forks and whatever have you. These are the rods for the refrigerator. I keep them right up there. Um, and then I'm going to keep the liquor down there. <laughs> I can't forget that. Um, but anyways, as you can see, there's a lot of room in here. And then I did add these spice racks. Um, I think Chad and Tara from Changing Lanes, she has a link for these. 
um, on their website at Change of Lanes. Um, and of course they were on Amazon and they fit perfect because you have to be careful with how wide you get these because when you go to close the pantry they'll hit you've got shelves here so you have to place them where they're going to close but I've got them all the way down to the bottom and I just keep my spices in there then I have a huge cabinet. We have a huge cabinet up here. This is a blessing in disguise. Now most people can keep paper towels up there, spare toilet paper, whatever you want, but this is perfect for me because I do pack up my appliances when during travel, like my coffee maker and um, so forth. So my toaster, my blender, my electric knife, and I still have room. I still have more room, so I'm thinking about getting an air fryer, a small air fryer, but that, clock, that, that cabinet is, I love it. Now, you do have to get on a step stool. I have one out there you just, in the garage, and, and I can reach everything. So. All right, the living room. These cabinets are not very deep, okay? So, uh, they're, as you can see, they're not very deep. So this is about how deep you're going to get here. But I keep my games uh, here. All my games. And then I keep paper towels up there. And I have a grabber in the garage. I can just grab them down. Um, I keep them there. But I also keep them up here in our loft. I keep toilet paper, paper towels. I keep all the bedding for both of these queen beds back here, which we'll show you in a moment. Everything's up there. And there's a ladder that uh, we get up there. It does have a light up there that turns on and off with the one control air conditioner. I mean, it's big enough for kids to sleep up here, although I personally wouldn't let my grandkids sleep up here. Um, the reason why is because the ladder is so tall and it's, to me, it's not very safe, but all my bedding is up there. It's all labeled, toilet paper, whatever, and we still have room. That's a regular curtain we're on, Amazon. The curtains, I know everybody's been asking me about this, and they're regular curtains. They were longer because it was hard to find short curtains. And I actually cut them and I used sewing tape and hemmed them with an iron. And they looked like they were made for it. Uh, and then I put Velcro on each side and they stick together. So that works out perfect. Um, you do cut, get two bar stools. With the unit, it does come with two bar stools and the four dining chairs. We opted to get the dining table instead of the super sofa. So we almost got the super sofa, but then we thought, how are you really going to sit here and eat? Um, as you can see, you know, you can sit at the bar stool and I mean it's okay to have a drink or talk I wouldn't prefer to eat here this grand design made this come out farther back in the earlier years they have shortened this but I mean it's okay to sit at um, a lot of people will build something and make an extension they'll either extend it at you know a flap hinged flap and make another piece or they'll do it on this end I'm not gonna I don't find I'm gonna need that right now the table is different it doesn't have that centerpiece in the in the in the older years they had a tile center this is all wood of course I'm gonna keep it covered um, and then this extends out so you have, you can actually have more room when you have four people eating here. 
You have plenty of room, and you have space here, and so, and it just goes back down. You just pull a little latch right here, you just pull on this down, and it flips right down. I made this. I made this myself, um, and I put, these are hung by um, 3M, 3M hooks, they're black, you can hardly see them up there, and I bought these pots which are lightweight metal, and just added some artificial greenery in it. Now I take these down, I take these down when I travel, they just come off like that, and they go underneath the bed. Um, and when I put them back on, when we get to where we're going. These also are night shades. But as you can see, it's all windows. This, this is all windows, and we love this unit. Um, you do have your island. And it, these are heavy. This is good. This is good quality countertop. It is a double sink, and it is the one with the lower piece in the middle. This sink is a little smaller, not too much than this, but it's. I like the lower, so you can. Don't splashing all over. So they are the farmhouse, dual stainless steel sinks. These stay when traveling. And then your faucet, um, and this is actually a pull down squirt. I did find this little caddy on Amazon. It's kind of cool. You know, you don't have to lay your wet rags. You can just, when you're done washing your dishes, it just flops over and it just dry. You can put your brushes in here. You can get tall dish brushes or whatever you want. Your soap can go in here. But I, li I like this for your hand soap. Um, drawers. You have two plugs here also. Now these are the only plugs on your island. You do not have any on either end. See? Or on the other side. These are your only plugs here too. And then you have USB chargers here. But the drawers are nice size. One good thing about Momentum and Grand Design is the bottoms are solid plywood. So they're not that thin stuff, it's solid. So as you can see, I have plenty of room for all my uh, stuff. And I got Gorilla Grip on the bottom of this stuff too as well. But. Oh, I also wanted to let you know on this stove, um, it does not have a temperature. So when you want to use your stove, what I found that everybody's doing is I actually got an oven thermometer. It hangs in the oven, as you can see. And so you can put this in here and make sure that you get your oven preheated to the temperature that you need to before cooking. And that's the way it is with gas stoves. I already did this. Honey, I did this. It's an oven light. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, you also have another, ca see there's so many cabinets in here. I can't, I forget them. This I love. You can put your oven mitts in here. I got my silicone hot, hot. I put, I bought silicone hot things to go on the countertop so I can put my pots and pans on them. Got these on Amazon. Oh, but that, my oven mitts are all right there to grab. And I put my bacon sheets and bacon sheets and loaf pans and uh, muffin pans all down there. And I still have a little bit of room left. Then you have two cabinets here as well. Now you do have your sink drain coming down. But um, anyways, I keep all my stuff here. This is an expandable dish washing drain. So it can go big or small for drying your dishes. It's a dish drain. 
and then you've got all this space in here that goes all the way back and all down there. Now, what I'm going to find on Amazon is they have a sliding tray now. I think it's like $50, but I have to measure this, but it would be so much easier. And they do have it, um, so I'm going to eventually get that, where I can just slide the tray out and everything's there. All right. Oh, we have, you have accent lights up here. Um, accent lights everywhere. Up there. Up above on your chandelier. And they change colors. There, there's actually, on the one control, there's actually, just like a paint thing, you can make these lights any color you want. You can make up your own colors. Um, and outside as well, up underneath the rig, which you'll actually see when Kevin does the outside. Um, but you can make them orange, whatever color you'd like. Um, all right, so we have our uh, theater seats, um, and these are recliner. These are recliner, so they do recline. There's a little pull, pull and they do recline their Thomas Paine. And they do go back. They also have um, a lighted heat cuff. So your light, your cup holders light up. It's also heat and massage. So they're heat and massage. And look underneath the chairs. They also have a LED lighting. So when you turn your cup holder on, the lights go on up underneath your chair like that. Okay. You have a fireplace. Now this was one of the changes they made with our rig versus 2021. 2021 had a silver wavy background here. This is like tile, real tile, glass tile. And it's a, like a white pearl, granite, grayish white. Real pretty. I love that change. And of course your fireplace. We keep all our remotes here. I, I hung a little rack here, and I had these baskets, and we keep them all right here, so we know where they're at. Because there's four TVs. There's a TV in the bedroom. There's a TV in the garage. There's a TV here, and there's a TV outside, which Kevin will show you when he does the outside. So here's your fireplace. Now, the fireplace you can have on just for decoration, um, different colors, no heat, you know, just to give it a little ambiance, um, or you, it does provide heat, and from what I understand, it does provide some pretty good heat, so you have your option, so you have different colors. So it's kind of nice. I prefer the blue. So that, that's a nice addition. Now I do want to mention this, ladies, because my question was, where am I going to put a trash can in here? Okay, that was one of my uh, wonders. And I thought, well, I'll put it over there. Well, unless you're going to have a small trash can, this won't work because your pantry door opens all the way. So it's gonna hit the trash can. So I saw that someone put one here, and this work, look, this works out perfect. This works out perfect for us. There's enough room to walk by it. And of course, I have an automatic trash can, so. Uh, so that, that, that fits perfectly. All right. And there's enough room here. I put a little. I put a little plant stand here. Um, made this myself to add a little greenery in here. Okay. Follow me. This is the glass door for the garage, and I do have a privacy curtain. 
I found on Amazon. Um, and it's Velcro. See, you can hardly see these round. If you look real close, there's round Velcros up here and down there. And the curtain panel actually Velcros up here and down here. So when we have company, it gives them privacy and us privacy. It is a blackout curtain. So I keep that up in the loft, but it just, uh, but it just Velcros. I prefer that because I, when I don't have company, I don't want it up. Follow me. So we got, we got this rug for back here. Now this trip, this trip we're go, getting ready to go on is our first trip for my birthday. And we're, my son is coming with his kids, but Kevin will normally work back here. We bought this rig because he works from home and he's going to be, we're going to be going for months at a time. So he's, he's got the stuff to turn this into the, you know, the cabinets and a desk to make this an office. So when we get back, he will be, this will be an office. Uh, but for now, it's set up for the kids and everybody that's coming. I also got some more of these shoe holders here for this, for the guests and the kids. And they come in and they can just wipe their feet on the rug, put their shoes in here. Um, I keep all my beach stuff up there. I love this. A lot of people wonder, what am I going to put up in those cabinets? Well, there you go, folks. There's all my beach towels and my suntan oil and my frisbees and my floats they all fit up there there's another ring security we have camera um, and of course every door has got ring um, bathroom I keep my vacuum over here it's in a little stand I have my little step stool back here that I use um, and then I added these. These are also command and they just you can keep your broom in these. I keep my little gripper in here and the dryer vent cleaner I keep out here. They just snap right in and hold. This is a vent. If you have toy hauler you have toys in here, motorcycles, anything that has gas in it, golf carts. This is to open up while you're traveling to vent this room out. There is another one over here. You have two vents. We do not have gasoline vehicles. We are going to get an electric golf cart down the road. Uh, so we'll just, we won't use those at this point. This is the second bathroom. It is a full bathroom. It's a small one, but hey, it serves a purpose for guests. Um, it does have a full shower in it. I put a plastic shower curtain and a cloth to keep the water. We also have, as you can see, it's, it, it, it is small, but it does the trick. We also have coming a guard it, it comes up like this to make this higher for to make sure no water comes out of here we should be getting that today and it just adhesives on here and it will make it higher so you don't have to worry about kids or anybody splashing the water out um, I did get these 3m for shampoo the soap dish and of course this is you know a handheld or a now this tub is, you know, not as steady on the floor as the other one, but, you know, it's a second bathroom. So, I added the pitcher. I've had some ladies ask me, how are you get, keep, you know, putting the towel bar up here secure um, on these walls? Well, folks, look, that is on there. It is not coming off. It, it's not a heavy iron. It's, it's a plastic, but it, and, and it's staying. It's not coming down, okay? We also put our toilet paper here. Here's another question. Everybody is asking, 
where do we put this? Do we put it here? No. Nope. People are going to drip water on it. You're going to put it here. They're going to splash it. Where? There's no cabinet here. So this is a perfect place for it. Um, you know, it's a perfect place for it. And then there's a plug here. There is a plug here. Two plugs on the side. I keep a nightlight in there. It helps the guest at night. And, you know, it's just a little sink, but it makes do. And we added the same tile here that we have in our main bathroom. And you also have a fan. You also have a fan and your light. So, you have room up at the top there, too. If you'd like to put a little artificial flower or... Something I I'm not going to do anything with it. You have a small medicine cabinet um, But as you can see I'm keeping the toothbrush Holder here So when you have guests and they're wondering where they're going to set their toothbrush holder I just put it in here with the toothpaste So You do have a nice Cubby for your towels and you also have a shelf up here I am thinking about putting some greenery up there um, for the guest. But I have plenty of towels in here. I just rolled them up. See how deep it is? So all my towels fit in here. I put toilet paper in this bathroom as well. And I have a little trash can. Everybody want to know where, how you get a trash can in here? Well, I put it down here on the bottom shelf. Just a little plastic uh, trash can squeezes right in there. Another issue you're going to have, ladies, um, is the rug. You're not going to find a bathroom rug that's going to fit in here, really. Okay? So, what I did... Excuse me while I sit down. What I did was I took a regular bath mat, and I just took a razor-edged knife, and I cut it so that it would fit in here just like that so and it, and it doesn't look bad and it works I also have these do this this door here will work with over the door hangers hooks the bedroom door did not this did so I hung this up for, you know, all the kids and whatever for their towels. And I hung one opposite for coats, a coat rack. Instead of putting it behind the glass door, I just went ahead and put it here. And we'll put our coats here. And, our, and they can put their towels there. Kevin put latches up here for our ladders. We have a ladder, a big tall ladder that hooks up here and we get up, that you can get up into the loft to get everything. And there's a ladder right here, which allows, that goes to the bed. That is a happy jack bed. And we're gonna show you how that works. Now, these ladders, only the rungs on them were only metal bars. We made wood steps. We made wood steps, Kevin did. And we also put a soft, like this is a pipe insulation, or you can use uh, pool noodles, on this ladder. So the kids' feet, so it wouldn't be hard on their feet. So that worked out. And this one has the rough so you don't slip, like tire rough on it. And the ladders during travel are up out of the way and they go up here on the ceiling. We replaced the TV with the larger TV. How many inches is that, Kevin? 43. 43 inch. That is a 43 inch TV. And the um, bracket 
that was already up there fit it. In other words, we did not have to get a new TV bracket. The, the actual bracket has holes and, it, and the 43 inch TV fit it. You also have another cubby up here on the opposite side of that cubby. Kevin will be using that for office stuff. Um, I'm going to have you. All right. Of course, don't mind our mess right now. We're, we're getting ready for travel. We have all our chairs in here, the kids stuff. And these are my outdoor patio rugs, which match the trailer. I have them. They go all along the whole side of the trailer if I want to use both of them. All right, this is our Happy Jack. Um, oh, another important thing for you guys. Here's your plugs. You only have two in here. You have one here, and you have one over here. So there's four outlets. That's it. Um, so just in case you're planning on using this office, you'd have to get a surge protector or more outlets but that's the plugs you have in here I was a little disappointed with that um, and this is our happy jack system now what this does is it you can either bring this down in its bench seats its bench bench seats and we have a table that goes right in here and what we did was we cut slits in our rug right here for a slit for the poles that hold the table. So this can come down just the bottom part and it be benches with the table. Or the benches fold together and make a queen size bed. We also have a queen size bed up at the top. So you literally get two full queen size beds for guests. Uh, the kids will sleep up that and I have an inflatable mattress a 10 inch inflatable mattress that I'm going to put on the bench seats because when you put the bench seats down they're rippling you know they're not very comfortable so um, I got an inflatable mattress that I'll put on that with all the bedding. So the Happy Jack beds is as simple as uh, and most of you guys are probably familiar with this if you've ever had a toy hauler but uh, for those of you that aren't so it's just one push of a button now when you bring this down you can separate this and have two beds. As you can see, the second one's coming down. And that goes down even farther, but we have our chairs here, so I can't bring it down. But these are actually the bench, bench seats that will fold up and make two benches on each side with the table in the middle, or you can sleep this. It's queen size. And this is where I'm going to put the 10 inch inflatable mattress and it and, and again it, it will come down to here so uh, this is also a queen size bed we stored our table here um, the reason why is because it normally stores underneath the mattress that comes with the happy jack and the mattress is only three inches thick and it's a foam it's just a piece of foam basically so I bought a six inch inner spring mattress for up here. They say you can go eight inches. However, we have a third air conditioner as an option. We took the third air conditioner. We have three air conditioners in this unit. And if I have anything higher than six inches, it's going to actually block the return vent, the air conditioner. So. In order to avoid that six inches and this is very comfortable it's an inner spring it's not just foam so I did purchase this I was concerned with this is as low as this bed goes I was concerned with the grandkids you know falling out with no kind of a rail or rolling over or getting up so my ladder 
I put, are going to put at this end. And again, we put the soft bungee pool noodle on the steps. I'll put the ladder there so they can go ahead and get up on this end. So I found this, it's, it's, it's a large size, it's an extra large size, um, and it's a bed rail, and it actually nails down, screws into the bottom of the wood. The legs go up underneath the mattress, and um, it actually can come down during travel, or when they're up there, it just clicks up and locks in, and you have a long bed rail and then this the stairs here so this is it's called uh tot craft tot craft i got it on amazon and it's the 59 inch or the larger one very easy to put together um and no worries with the kids rolling out of the bed or even adults um, and then when you want to travel you just lift each end and it just comes down and there you go so that's our happy jack system now if you just want the benches down and not the bed once you bring this all the way down you'll hit the button again and the bed will go all the way up so then you'll just have the bench seat so you can either have both beds down and the bench seats made as a a bed or bring this up and leave the bench seats down so it's very convenient you can sleep a lot of people in here you could even put an air mattress down here on the floor um, so we really like this and this bed will stay made the whole time so you don't have to worry about making this bed when there's com company and then we just put it back up Oh, and by the way, table, if you have company in both beds, where are you going to store your table? Well, we figured it out. It actually will fit underneath the bench seat bed, even between the legs. There's legs that support this when it makes a bed. So this fits below there, so that's where you can store it. Wrong way. And as you notice, it will stop about six inches from the air conditioner, which is perfect. So while we're traveling or we don't have the kids, we can, we don't have to worry about that. If that mattress was eight inches or any higher, it's going to crush or block that air conditioner return system, which is not good. So that worked out perfect. Again, that's a six inch mattress. And as you can see, the guardrail does not go down any farther than the bench seat, so that worked out perfect. All right, then you have a back door. Also, you have the, your front door and your back door, again, screen um, and stairs. So you have a second entrance for your guest. And we also added, um, or you also have a rail here. So for safety for the kids, we, uh, Kevin added the rallying, and that is a blessing because there's no, nowhere else to grab a hold of. And we also put a railing on the screen door as well. Okay, also too, we added, I added blackout curtains, or blackout panel curtains. I got them from Amazon. Um, I just got a regular spring rod, spring curtain rod. They have them on Amazon, I think, um, 
Tara on changing lanes, she has the link to the size of that. So it's just a spring wide curtain rod um, with slide down curtains. And of course these are kind of cool because they come with the little Velcro thing. Uh, so you can Velcro them back, Velcro tie backs. Um, so when you have guests, you can just block this out and they have privacy from anybody walking back behind your trailer with the porch down and it keeps the sun out. Uh, so it doesn't wake them up early in the morning. All right, my favorite place, my pina colada sunset. The tailgate of this toy hauler makes a back porch. So these are three season doors. We opted to get the glass. Uh, we took every option with this unit except for the solar panels. So we've got the three air conditioners, you name it, we got it. Um, the full body paint, uh, but we also got the glass three season doors. These, this glass will actually come down and you can have screen. Just have to have the screen. But the real simple, they just open up. And this is my haven. We got the awning, the back porch awning. That's another option. Um, and a rug. I wanted a rug and it was so hard to find a rug to fit this porch. The closest thing I could get was a six by nine. But as you can see, nine foot brings it in into the trailer. Now there's a gap. This is real important, ladies. Uh, it's helpful. There's a gap between your tailgate, your tailgate and your trailer. So if your rug goes over this, your feet will actually, the rug will go down into the hole. So I made a board to go over that gap as wide as the door waterproofed it and uh, my rug goes right over it and up underneath the door perfectly so that when you walk out here you're walking on a board you don't have to worry about that hole and this is our back porch. We did not opt to get the stairs. There are stairs, more ride stairs that you can get. Um, there are more ride stairs that you can get. When you open your back gate, you would, the stairs would go here. They're heavy. And from what we heard from everybody, there's no place to really store them in your trailer while you're traveling or if you don't use your back porch um, and that not many people use them. So the majority of the time it's going to be just me and Kevin um, and we opted not to get those stairs. Uh, so there is a back gate and then these just click out. Your side walls just click out and fold up when you get ready to bring the tailgate up. This is also, of course, a ramp, but I love my, I love the back porch. I do have solar lights that I got at Amazon. What I did was I put Velcro double on here, and there's their actual patio solar lights, and they just click right on with Velcro, and they shine down all the way around the patio. So one night I'll show you. I'll do a second video and show you. It really looks neat. Um, so they just click right on, right on the Velcro, and I've got them all the way around. All right, so there was one thing I wanted to uh, point out, ladies, that I forgot to show you in the bedroom. So follow me, because it's important. This bed lifts up and you have all kinds of storage underneath it and that's where I keep all my decorations when we get ready to travel I have containers in here that I put it in the problem is we got the the air jacks lift jacks that lift this up that comes with the trailer the weight form wasn't it was perfect for the little mattress they provided you so as you can see, we have a big heavy mattress now. 
uh, new. So those jacks were not holding the bed up. So Kevin got us 200, they're actual 200 pound airlifts. Um, and they'll fit right in. You don't have to change the brackets. You just have to pull the existing ones out and put those in. So it's 200 pounds so that the bed will stay lifted. So this is my storage. And as you can see, see, it keeps the bed up. So when I'm down here getting things out, I don't have to worry about this thing coming on my, down on my head. Um, because with those other jacks, they were not strong enough for if you get a new mattress that's heavy. So this is where I keep all my uh, decorations, my flower vases, voila, and it stays up. And this is a jewelry box tray. If you ladies have expensive jewelry that you want to keep hidden, um, you would put it here uh, for safekeeping. I personally am not going to use it. Again, I have my jewelry box here. Um, it's more convenient for me than lifting the bed, but that's where you could keep it. So th I love this. This is where I store everything that I need to when, when I travel. And I also have my bar glasses in here. I do have some real glass wine, wine glasses and cocktail glasses for special occasions. Um, that I don't normally keep out there while I'm traveling. And I can pull them out and use them when I have guests. And it just flops right down. Well, I think I covered, I hope everything. Um, that's it. So uh, before we go, I'm going to Wish everybody a happy Halloween, and I'd like to show you my Halloween wreath that I made. And here it is. <laughs> all lit up. I can't wait. I have all kinds of Halloween decorations uh, for the outside of the rig. Uh, when we get there, I even have a costume to wear. So, um, it'll be my birthday, and I can't wait. All My son's coming, and everybody's coming. So, happy Halloween, everyone. We'll see you. We're going to do a second video for all the upgrades and stuff that we did on the outside of the trailer. Bye for now.